Ugh. Kevin, I borrowed this MacBook from my friend and I need to return it to him. But every time I try to erase it, I keep getting a, a stupid error. That's because you're doing it the old way. Welcome back, tech heads. Kevin and Blake here. Okay, Kev, what do you mean the old way? That's an M1 MacBook. The process is completely different now. Here, let me show you how. Step one. The first thing we need to do is make a backup of our MacBook. If you haven't already done so, check out this tech-tastic video right here, and we'll show you the best and safest way to do so. Step two, once you've safely backed up your Mac, it's time to make sure we unlink all of our information tied to our iCloud and Apple ID. Wait, wouldn't that all be done when we just erase the entire thing? This is just an extra layer of protection. The last thing you want is to think you've unlinked everything and someone else find a way to find the information you thought you deleted. Or even lock the next person out of the MacBook completely because it's still linked to your Apple account. All right, well, I guess overprotection is better than no protection. So open your MacBook and click on the Apple icon right here. Click on System Preferences and then click on Apple ID. Once this window appears, look for Overview and click on it. At the bottom, click on Sign Out. Unclick these options here since we've already made sure we backed up our MacBook. And click Continue. You'll need to enter your Apple ID password to turn off Find My Mac. To confirm, enter your MacBook password, the one you use to log into your MacBook from the lock screen. Step three, if you've ever used iMessage on your MacBook, we'll need to ensure that it's safely logged out of your messages as well. Click on the Messages app, then on the top of the screen, click on Messages, and then open Preferences from here. Once this window pops up, click on at iMessage and click on Sign Out to unlink your account. Okay, cool, so now we're, we're done now, right? Not yet, now it's time for the big erase. Ooh, the big erase. Step four, power down your MacBook. Once it's off on an M1 MacBook, press and hold the power button, but don't let go. Hold it, hold it. Once your Mac says loading startup options, you can let go. Good job, Blake. From here, you should see your MacBook hard drive and a gear icon for options. Click on options and then click continue. It may ask you to select a user with a password you know. So click the account and type in your MacBook login password once again. From this window, go to the bottom and click on disk utility and continue. When this window appears, go to the left column and click on the top drive right here, then click erase. From here, leave everything as default and click erase volume group right here. Follow the prompts to erase race Mac and restart. Okay, so now we have to be done, right? That's gotta be, that's gotta be everything. Nope, we've literally erased everything. We need to reinstall Mac OS. All right, all right, all right. Step five, once the MacBook erases and restarts, follow the prompts to this window. It's time to activate your Mac. Select the Wi-Fi network right here so we can reinstall the Mac OS. Once it's connected, we should see this window once again, but this time, click on reinstall Mac OS and continue. Next, click on the hard drive right here to reinstall Mac OS onto and click continue. Your Mac will prompt you to plug into power so it doesn't die during the process. Click continue and your Mac will begin to install Mac OS. This could take quite a long time. So while you wait, check out this tech-tastic video right here. 